So I have been pretty busy the last week or 10 days, so my content hasn't been as forthcoming as what I would like. Hopefully next week I'll be back to the regular content schedule, which is almost every day if you consider the shorts and the long form versions uh, that I post on YouTube. So let's get into the video. So this is an icebreaker, right? This icebreaker is going to be on what I see going on in the world right now. I hope you're in a good mood because I feel like the icebreaker might be a little bit depressing. It's not meant to be depressing. I'm sharing this because I always like to look for warning signs, right? And I see some warning signs. I'm not exactly sure what they point to yet, but I just want to go ahead and talk about it. So right now you're looking at Yahoo Finance and believe it or not, I prefer the Yahoo Finance section more than I prefer Google Finance. It's just the way it is for me, a personal choice. But you can see that Bitcoin has recently gone above $50,000, which is great. Now, I know there are a lot of opinions out there when it comes to Bitcoin and some of them I think are true, some of them I, I think are not true. But I think, and I feel like this can be proven quite easily, that whenever Bitcoin is not in the news, that's whenever it performs well. When people forget about it, when all the naysayers and the crypto haters just write it off because they read a headline that says Bitcoin is dead and they forget about it, that's when Bitcoin starts to go through a process of building back up again. So why is the value of Bitcoin increasing? That is the question. This right here you could see is whenever there started to be some serious conflict in the Mideast. And I promise you I'm not going to be talking about that at all in this video. But not only is the price of Bitcoin going up, if you look at the price of gold, and we are just about at an all-time high. Looks like we may have hit it recently, which is I don't want to say good, it's good for the people that own the gold, uh, but not good for the people that don't own the gold. The price of gold is $2,005 as of this recording. Happy Valentine's Day for those of you that are watching this. It, of course, will be a late Valentine's Day for you. But the price of gold is above 2000 I really don't believe we're going to see gold below 1500 If that's something you disagree with, I would love to hear you talk about why that that it is in the comments section, I will definitely read that and I will value your opinion on it. And this right here, interestingly enough, is the Vanguard 500 Index Fund. This is the only security that I have invested. I don't have it for myself. I have it for my two children in their Roth IRA. If you do sell Lego and you have children and you're not putting some of that money into their Roth IRA, then you definitely do not know what you're doing. But this right here is interesting, right? You can see that this is doing relatively well. So it's contradicting what the price of gold and what Bitcoin is doing. Now, of course, companies can on paper look good and look like they're continuing to have a value because they will go ahead and do a buyback of their stock, which increases the stock price, but doesn't give the stockholder that dividend that they probably do deserve. So lots of interesting stuff here. So right now you're looking at shadowstats.com. Now this is a website that I don't believe I've mentioned ever. I will probably be mentioning this a little bit more in the future. And you see three lines right here when it comes to the unemployment rate. This red line is where the official unemployment rate is. This gray line represents what they believe the broadest unemployment rate is. And and this blue line is where they believe the actual unemployment rate is. And if that is true, and I think there's very good truth to it, it may not be that exact number, but I definitely think it's over 20%. That does not bode well for the US economy. And there are many reasons why they feel that this is the actual unemployment rate. The published government unemployment rate doesn't count. Uh, the people that have two jobs, of course, they just look at it as there are jobs that are filled. And there are many other reasons out there. So please feel free to go to Shadow Stats if that is a website you're unfamiliar with. Now, it's not all doom and gloom, right? We will be talking about Lego in the near future, but I just want to remind everybody that the IRS again for 2023 announced that there is a delay whenever it comes to their 1099Ks, right? So if you made under $20,000, let's say on eBay last year and late, and eBay is the only platform you use, 
I'm definitely not telling you not to claim that because I don't give tax advice or any advice on this channel. But I am saying that eBay more than likely will not give you a 1099K. And if they don't give you a 1099K, that means they do not give the IRS a 1099K. So do with that information what you will. But I just wanted to go ahead and give a reminder to all of those people out there that may not have seen it the first time. So I just wanted to talk about a little bit of housekeeping for this channel. You may have seen earlier this month, I did a retiring video on the Batman theme. One of the things I hate as a content creator is the last quarter of the year just jamming down retirement videos uh, towards the end. It's something I, I don't like now. Now something that Brick Fanatics did last year which I liked and I'm going to try and do a YouTube version of it this year is every month they did an update when it comes to the retirement list. So I think every month I'm going to do a retirement theme video. So if all goes to plan you'll probably only see one retirement video a month versus having seven or nine jammed down your throat the last two months of the year. A friendly reminder that Brickworld Chicago is June 15th and 16th of this year. I think we're somewhere around the 100 day mark. I'm very excited to participate in that. This will be the first time that I'm bringing my wife and she's very much excited uh, to go ahead and participate in Brickworld Chicago. This is probably going to be my last Brickworld Chicago for quite a few years. Everything that I've wanted to accomplish during last year and this year will have been completed. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break but if you've never been to brick world chicago i highly recommend that you take advantage of it you will not regret going there if you decide to purchase tickets so let's talk about the bricklink design program right the mountain fortress sold out in about three hours right so i really don't think that there's going to be a problem whenever it comes to demand i definitely think demand will be up to be honest i'm a little bit surprised that the old train engine shed sold out before the parisian street and the only reason why i say that is because i've seen so many train stations in the past or train something involving trains so i thought that this was just going to be a set that was not necessary but apparently i was wrong and it has sold out Again, I still can't believe that Parisian Street has not sold out. I definitely think that's probably in the top two best sets out there. And it's interesting that the Snack Shack has sold out and there's still a little bit ways to go when it comes to the general store. But hopefully all of these sets will sell out. They're all funded. And I'll be curious to see what these prices go for on eBay or Amazon once they are released to the general public. So before we get into the medieval town square, I would kindly like to ask you to like and subscribe to this channel. We're getting very close to 9,000 subscribers. Whenever we get to 10, I will be doing a giveaway. So the sooner that we get to 10,000, the sooner we'll be able to go ahead and do a giveaway. So I greatly appreciate it. So you're looking at Jay's Brick Blog and this is the medieval town square. I like this set a lot. I think the price point is somewhere around $230, which is good because you want to have those popular sets have a higher entry point, right? This is something that I've been talking about and talking about and talking about for a while. You wanna make sure these sets have a high entry point. You wanna make sure that these sets, as long as they're winning sets, are available in your inventory. Now, of course, you do not wanna purchase these sets right now. I might just purchase one just so I could have it as a collector, but definitely not to add to my reselling inventory. And I think it's very smart for LEGO to have a medieval village set follow the medieval blacksmith. That was such a cool, cool set. Now this right here is the last medieval village and this is such an old listing, the photo has warped. It almost gives me a headache. The aftermarket price on this is $414. And when you go to Camel 3X, you can see right here, this is probably where the rumors started to circulate about a new medieval village, right? And then you start to see it declined a little bit and if i had to guess i could be wrong but if i had to guess this is when the picture was released and it just fell like a knife so right now is 414 dollars the highest you could have got it for was 499 dollars now i did hear a rumor from some person who i trust a lot and they said that this was going to 
be a exclusive set for one of the big box retailers out there. I haven't seen that advertised yet, so if anybody knows anything about that, please leave a comment in the comment section below. So let's talk about the May the 4th promo, right? The gift with purchase. It looks like it's going to be a battle droid carrier. Now here's the thing, battle droid carriers, in my opinion, really isn't an exciting thing, right? It by no means is a mini version of of the TIE Fighter pilot helmet, right? That would be a cool gift with purchase. So in my opinion, the gift with purchase this year is nothing flashy, but at the same time, it is somewhat essential. So I definitely think that that is something to take note of. Will I go bonkers this May the 4th like I did last year? I'm not entirely sure. I wanna see a picture of it. I'm definitely not in the go out there and get it mindset like I was for the Death Star 2, but we should have a glimpse of the GWP in the very near future. And finally, my friends, I'm, I'm serious as a heart attack. I hope everybody is excited about this as I am. Lego is teasing sets based on the Wicked movie. For those people out there like myself that were caught in the Wicked hype whenever that went to Broadway and off Broadway, this, in my opinion, is going to be a very, very big deal. The sets have to be, as Sean the Right Way would say, they have to be heaters. These have to be slam dunk winners. But the Broadway show of Wicked, which I saw was just amazing. I believe that there was a teaser when it came to one of the Super Bowl commercials out there. So I definitely wouldn't be surprised if these Lego sets would be released around the release of the movie. This would just be incredible. I definitely see this as a brief theme where it could only go maybe one or two years. There's just, if you're for, if you're just familiar with the Wicked story and the book, I remember when the book came out, I wanna say in, in the late 90s, there was a lot of hype just around the book and whenever the Broadway musical came out, it was just amazing. And this for me is something to be very excited about as a reseller, but it just depends on what types of sets Lego puts out. They've been doing a lot of great creative sets lately, and hopefully they will not blow it with the Wicked theme. That's it, friends. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Jim with WolfOfBricks.com. Always go out there and get it.